Okay, so where I'm at right now is I wasn't thinking and I had the pipe cap screwed in to the opposite side. Kind of, I was using it kind of as a weight to keep it straight up and down while I welded. Um, the problem is that when I was finished welding, I couldn't unscrew the cap. And I know I hadn't screwed it in that tight. So what I think happened is I think it uh, actually, um, it actually warped the pipe a little bit or the pipe cap and it just kind of cinched it down. So what I had to do was cut the pipe off. Uh, it was, you know, full pipe nipple sticking up to here with threads on the one end or on the other end. And I had to cut it down to about the same height as this, this rim here, a little bit higher. Um, and then I drilled two holes in the pipe cap and then used two uh, bolts and a piece of angle iron kind of as a breaker bar to, to kind of spin it because I couldn't reach in from the other side, which is the top side. I couldn't reach in and actually get enough torque to spin that off. So thankfully I got it loose, got it off, and I was able to drill the rest of the holes, the other two holes. They're not exactly centered, but it's kind of, you know, that's the idea. And I did measure the thickness of that pipe cap uh, at the top. It's um, it's a quarter inch thick. So it's pretty beefy. And um, I'm thinking that with this design, uh, with the multiple outlets and the thick steel, it should give me um, a longer life than if it was just a single pipe coming up through. Um, and then I got to put a one inch pipe uh, up in the top here for the outlet. And, uh, and then I still have to figure out some sort of pressure relief system in case of a backfire, but um, this will get me started at least. So I'll put a piece of pipe here, and then, uh, yeah, opposite the seam. There's a seam here in the, uh, in the steel, or in the pipe. So got to go opposite. Last time I used one of these, I tried to make a hole, and I made it right next to the seam, and every time I got close to the seam to weld it, it would it would melt and I'd blow a hole through. So I'm gonna try to do it from the, the other side. So uh, put an outlet pipe here and then basically the gasifier is done and I can try it out. I got a big bag of charcoal just waiting for it and that should be pretty cool. Um, oh, I also need to make some feet I'm gonna because it's obviously not getting any air right now because it's sitting on the ground. So I'm gonna make some stubby legs to put on there. Got some half inch um, steel pipe, plumber, you know, just regular schedule 40 pipe that I'm going to use for the uh, the feet. So I'm going to weld those on and and then uh, finish the outlet pipe. It'll be good to go, I think.